Hello! We are talking about 10 kinds of furries in the DM. Now, there's a lot of people, a lot of furries, all kinds of people, and they have a lot to say and different kinds of things to say, but these are the 10 categories that I found in my own experience being on a, being on Instagram at least. Alright, number one, we have the friendly furry. They usually start their messages which like, hey, you seem cool, you know, do you want to talk or just, hey, <laughs> you know, kind of vague, but they usually have a little bit more than just, hey, and uh, when you, when you start talking to these people, generally they, they have a good conversation. They talk a little bit about, you know, what, whatever they want about your art or your fursuit or a furry stuff in general or I don't know, the weather, the problems in, in the world right now, things like that. But I've noticed usually after you get a little bit of conversation, it goes of two ways. Either, actually three ways. Either they just kind of like talked and then they're gone and they don't really reply back ever again. Or you got the person who keeps the conversation going, pretty cool, and you got the third one who really just wants to role play. They have a regular conversation, then all of a sudden they'll be like, ew, wags tail, blushes, or rar x3, <laughs> and it's too much. I'm like, uh, when I get to that point, you know they just want to role play with you, and that's not what you're here for. Sometimes it's cool. Usually it goes wrong places, so I don't click on people like that. All right, number two, we got the furry fan. You know, whatever your content is, content is, they're a huge fan of it. They love it. They love what you do or, you know, what what you show. And uh, usually their messages are like, oh my gosh, hey, I love your stuff. You're gorgeous. Just everything you do is awesome. And I'm your biggest fan. And they're like, okay, you don't have to reply, but just the fact that I can talk to you I feel so blessed. Please get back to me. I just, I love your stuff. That's what I found most of the messages usually say. And it's, uh, it's really cute, honestly. It's, uh, flattering. Um, you know, you get, there's a lot of people who say that and their intentions are always different, so... Kinda hard to tell where the conversation goes from there, but in general it's, uh, it's cute. And it's, uh, again, very flattering. All right, number three, we got the hi or the hey messenger. They they literally have no context to anything, and it's just a simple hi or hey. And it's like, uh, did you did you want something? You know. So usually these people I found they don't have profile pictures, or if they do, it's just some image they found off Google Images. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of places that can go from just hi and what they want. So I don't click on those people. If someone wants to talk to me, they gotta explain what they're talking about, why they want to talk to me, and how I'm involved in it, you know? So, huh, those kind of furries, honestly, really annoying. Don't just say hi. You gotta, you gotta give some context. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know what, who you are, or what, what you want from me. What do you, what do you want from me? All right. Number four, we got the person who's always asking for free art. They're always there. They always comes in all kinds of shapes and forms, and uh, they just don't want to pay for the art that you could provide them because they want it free. There's literally, you can't just get exceptions, all right? Like, if it's a friend, okay, yeah, whatever, but when you simply slide in the DMs and say, hey, can you make me free art? No. Don't ask that. That's rude. People put time and energy in what they make. And it's not worth just giving it to you because you asked. Sorry, that's how it works. With number five, which relates to number four, is the one who says, Hey, can you make me a free fursuit? Like, <laughs> they always, there's always these people. For art or fursuits, it seems. One or the other, they're always like, Oh, can you, can you make it for me? They don't even send you a ref or anything, they just say, can you make it for me? Like, like, dude, no, no one's just gonna go make you a fursuit because you asked them. 
You don't even give them any information or context. And I think usually these are younger people who maybe they're inquiring, but the way they say it is like, uh, I'm not just going to make you a fursuit, kid. You got to, you got a commission and, you know, you know, it's going to be money. You can't just go, hey, can I have a fursuit? They'd be like, oh yeah, totally. What do you want? I don't care, you know. Just give me the information, I'll totally make you one. Free of charge, because you asked me. Alright, number six, we got the person who's always asking for photos. <laughs> a lot of different ways, you know, they're just like, oh, can I see some photos? It's like, well, I have a whole page on photos, like, just go look at those. I, I <laughs> you know, I post every, every other day or every week, just, just be patient, they'll come. Or you got the people who, you know, they want those kind of pictures, and it's like, uh, I know if I want them shared, I would share them. Or if you even had them in the first place, whatever, you know, it's, they always want exclusive photos, and you're like, uh, no. Just, just no, and not, again, when people just ask for things, it's like, yo, they're the process for everything, okay? I'm not just gonna give you everything just because you asked nicely. Sadly, that's not how life ever works really at number seven with the picture sharer they literally don't have any words usually they just send you a photo and that photo could be a lot of things either it's a meme it's an expression it's a fursuit it's sometimes it's nsfw stuff and it's no context just picture and it confuses me, like, why? What do you want from me? Okay, nice picture, but I wasn't looking for that. Like, like share it, and then if I really want, you'll see if I like it or not. Like, ugh, oh, these guys are very annoying, very often. Ugh. Number eight, we have the information seeker. They, these people aren't that annoying because they give context to what they want why they want it and you know just the, why why they're even talking to you they either talk about commission or something you made or how you made it you know just gives say hey this is this is interesting uh can you answer my questions and it's these people are good because sometimes you know you're like oh you can find those questions somewhere else but it's nice you didn't just say hey hi can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? Huh? Hi, I, hi. All right. Number nine is the problematic furry. Now, there's a lot of these, but one I'm thinking of more that people do is guilt trip furry. <laughs> they always started with, hey, sorry, I'm taking, taking your time away. I just, I just need someone to talk to. I'm sad and, and you know, I don't know, my grandfather's dying or could be very valid, but usually what I found is they were either just really lonely and horny probably, or they just they just want to RP, just want to talk to you. They just want to get into your DMs enough for you to click on it, but you feel bad for them, so they can talk to you. And I hate this. Like, no, don't. Don't do that stuff, man. It's like, I, I'm sorry you're going through that, but I, I can't really help you. Like, see a therapist? Like, find some good friends? I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to be here. I'm just trying to be a tiger. Like, I'm sorry. All right, number 10, the last one. We all know this person. <laughs> they are the pervert furry. They literally go into your DMs and ask for everything. Or share everything or they're just one big scam because they're perverts these people suck <laughs> they just they always come in every once in a while and it's like uh no 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 <laughs> stop i know you probably talk to a lot of underage people that's not okay don't talk to me stop stop what you're doing and some of them have pages like Instagram accounts made on just to warn people about them because they're just looking for the bad things and they just want to use you so don't answer that <laughs> even if they flatter you don't don't they're selfish 
stay safe. Stay safe out there, people. All right, that concludes my video of the 10 kinds of furries that slide into your DMs. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting, and uh, bye!